you'd like to see another example of what Power Apps can do, let me show you an app I did for a group of engineers that needs to document the conditions at work sites. This application needed to run on mobile devices for engineers to visit a site. They would type up information about the project and all kinds of various detailed information about that particular site, then do a walkthrough of the site and document and photograph different sections of the site, and then have the app generate a report that they can later paste into a Word document. Here we have the home screen, and it's a simple splash screen. So I did use my mobile application template that I've been building with you guys. We've been going piece by piece, how to implement a spinner, how to create your own theme within Power Apps, how to create a menu, how to create a component, all these various things laid the groundwork for me to actually start this project. I'll put the playlist for running through all those different things in the description below if you've missed it. But right now, let's take a deeper look into this application. So the second menu item is the listing. So this will show them all the reports that they've done before. So here's one I just entered. This is all test data. So I'm going to click on this one. This screen allows them to add and edit details for a report that they want to generate for a specific site. So it's got some feel for dates and also the date of the visit. This is the date of the report. And here are some different fields that need to be filled out for the final report. Now, if you were to go in here and try to add a new photo, let's say they go into a different section of that site, they need to take a photo, they would select the photo here, upload it, and type in a description and hit add this photo. Let me click on this button here, view photos, and it's gonna show me all the photos I've already added. So it has a sequential number here in the order that I documented them, it has the photo and also a little bit of a description. And if you select on individual ones, let's say you, de you decided you didn't want this to be a part or you messed up, you could just remove it and then re-add it. So there's some buttons to go back to the project details, go back to the photos or to add a new photo. Now, when the engineer is completely done with documenting that site by taking e each of these photos and adding a description to each, they would click on generate report and it takes all that information the header information, which is the date, to, from, so on and so forth. It takes all of those photos, puts the comment beside them, the ordinal position in which they were added. And this was done through the use of HTML. And this is a rich text editor control, in which I can click in here, hit Control A, Control C, and paste this into a Word document that's got all of the company's letterhead and branding and everything else that they need. Now, what we could have done was took it a, one step further and actually created a Power Automate flow that would have taken all of this HTML here, created a PDF document out of it, emailed it out, or stored it to a SharePoint list. We could have done that. The client needed the ability to modify the contents and they wanted it in a Word document. Now, Power Automate does have a premium connector which you can generate Word files, but it's a premium connector, which means you'd have to pay more for that if you don't already have the premium licensing. If you want to see more examples of applications that I've worked on, I have a whole series of videos in which I build out a work order management system for a garage. And I also have another application that I did where I just stepped through and demoed it just like I did here for this one. It was for a vehicle inspection checklist application. If you haven't seen those, check those out. They're some of my most popular videos. Do you have some ideas of how I could have extended this more? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please leave a comment below. If you liked anything in this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm and lets other people like you know that it's a good video. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time.